Is this the world's fastest charging power bank? Hmm, let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. This unassuming little metal object is the Real Graphene G Lite Fast Charging Power Bank. Now, they claim it's the world's fastest charging power bank, and it's a little confusing because what they mean by that is this device itself charges really fast. Now, however fast it will charge your other products or devices is a function of their ability to handle charging. Now, this does work with PD power delivery system. So theoretically, devices should charge pretty quick. And I have some pretty cool numbers in just a little bit. But let's start with this itself. So this is made out of graphene which actually is a very new product or material, and it has a lot of interesting characteristics. Here's a sort of basic graph they have on their website, but it's five times more um, charge life cycles than lithium from a battery perspective. It helps keep the battery cool, though it still warms up when you're charging the device itself. And it is tougher and more protective, so it has a really great hand feel. It's a really cool material. And the device itself is, as you can see, basically the size of a smartphone. In fact, here's an iPhone 11 Pro. Here is the <laughs> G Lite. So you can see it's about the same size. So 5,000 milliamp hour. They're coming up with bigger ones that'll be out very soon. But I got this one, which I think actually is kind of the perfect size. It has on the bottom USB-C, and that's also how you charge this device and USB 3.0, which lets you charge, plug in really any cable you want and charge. And then there are four LEDs to give you its charging status and a button on the side that you push and you can see how charged the unit is. So this has three out of four buttons or three out of four lights illuminated. So it's about 75% charged. So what makes this the world's fastest charger is that this can go from zero to fully charged with a 60 watt charging source you can plug it in and this will get fully charged in 18 minutes so that means if you have uh, the ability to charge it while you're at lunch you can fully recharge this and then use it over the afternoon or in the evening to actually recharge all your other devices so that's pretty cool now real graphene also makes available this um, and this is a 60 watt wall charger it will charge your computer if you have a computer that wants 60 or 61 watts like a macbook pro this works great for that and it's obviously smaller than the apple unit but it's really designed to pair with one of their power banks so it is an additional charge we'll get to that at the very end but basically plug this into the wall and the power bank includes this nice little I don't know, what is that, uh, two foot <laughs> USB-C to USB-C. Plug this into the wall, plug the cable in, plug the other end of the cable into that, and you are ready to charge, and 18 minutes later, it has gone from completely dead to completely full. There's nothing to complain about that. Then you can take that very same cable, and if you have a modern phone, like, for example, the Google Pixel 4a, you can literally plug it in and I am now charging the phone. So pretty easy. Now let's see. So dimensions. This is six inches by three inches by half an inch thick. It is seven ounces. So it is relatively heavy. But I mean, all of these power banks, they all actually end up having some weight because of the fact that they have to have a battery inside of them. So here's what I did as I thought. Hmm, well, the only way to really test a power bank is to charge different things. So I charge different things. So let's see. So I'll start with the iPhone 11 Pro. This charged the most slowly. This gave me, or plugging it into this, gave me a 42% charge in an hour. So Apple seems to be enjoying the slow charge. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the iPhone 12 will have a different charging system. That'd be nice because other phones for example the google pixel 4a this was an absolute rock star this got a hundred percent charged from dead to fully charged in one hour using this device so 
props to Google for making that be a fast charging device. And then I thought, hmm, well, since I already have this, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G with its big honking bunch of cameras and everything. And I thought, well, let's see how fast this will charge. And this, in one hour, got a 72% charge. So it's not quite as good as the Pixel, but it's really, honestly, almost double the charging speed of the iPhone. So there you go. With any of these devices, it charges pretty well. And then I thought, hmm, what else can I do with a USB-C charging device? And I thought, you know, it really isn't supposed to do this, but let's plug it into the MacBook Pro and see what happens. Now, in the system information, as you can see, it says, no, you're not charging. You're only getting 30 watts. So this is putting out 30 watts, which is pretty impressive. You're only getting 30 watts. You're not charging. So what the heck are you doing? And I thought, yeah, whatever, dude. And I closed my computer and I left it for an hour and it charged 25% in an hour off of this running at 30 watts, which is just like... I don't think it's supposed to do that, but it's really cool that it does. So in a complete crisis, if you were really just down to the wire and you really needed a charge, you could use this with your computer. And admittedly, it's a slow charge, but it is a positive change in the battery life of your device, which is pretty sweet. So all in all, really interesting material, super fast to charge this, though, you know, again, your devices will charge at the speed they charge at, which, you know, is not going to, this does not make anything suddenly charge faster than it otherwise would, but that's okay. It has a long, long life because of the graphene that they're using, and it has an interesting feel. It looks super modern. On the minus side, yeah, you need to use a 60 watt charger or above. I tried it with an 87 watt charger and that worked too, though I'm not sure it was recommended. But I basically just took my MacBook Pro charging wire and plugged it into this and it could handle it. And it did heat up a little bit, but that's the nature of charging. And it charged all the way, so that was great. So really flexible, lots of power. Wish that it had built-in wires because it's a little tedious to have to carry around separate cords. Maybe that'll be in generation two. And yes, I would be willing to have it be maybe 20% wider so that I could pull out, for example, a lightning plug or pull out a USB-C wire directly rather than having to have a separate wire. But really, that's my only complaint. The fact that it has the button to let you quickly see charge level and it has both USB-A and USB-C, super flexible and light, easy to carry around, works great with various devices, especially the Pixel. Holy cow, Google, you have nailed the charging thing. Apple, please go talk to Google to figure out how to make the phones charge faster. <laughs> so that's really all I've got. Um, lots to like here. Yeah, it's a really crowded space, but this is a really interesting entry because of the technology that they're using. So if you're tired of having your power bank be dead and then never being able to charge it, well, this is one that's going to charge super fast. Again, would it be cool if it had little wall prongs that pop right out? Yeah, but then it would probably have to be at least three times as thick to actually be able to have an onboard 60 watt charger. So having it be a separate device, and there are smaller ones out there that push out 60 watts, but having it be a separate device is an acceptable, though, you know, somewhat of a drag. So it goes. So Really, all that's left to talk about is the price, and they're running a pretty good sale right now on their website. Hopefully, it's still on when you view this video. But can't tell you that until I ask for you to give me some feedback and click on that subscribe link. It's really important that I get a lot of subscribers so I have a lot of leverage with a lot of these companies. So they send me gear even though I'm completely honest rather than just touting their gear. So click on that subscribe button. Really appreciate when you do that. Give me some feedback. What other devices should I have tried to charge? But I figure I kind of covered it pretty well with a computer and three different kinds of phones. All right. This is the real Graphene g Light fast charge power bank. And it's $89.99 on sale for $59.99 at realgrapheneusa.com. Definitely worth checking out. And when you buy it, you can opt to also get 
the Real Graphene 60 watt wall plug charger, and this is an additional $19.99. So together, it is somewhat spendy, but if you're tired of having your devices run out of juice, this is your solution and definitely worth checking out. And with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue charging this Note 20. Let's just plug it in. And there we go, it's charging as you can see. And that means I'll catch you in my next video.